guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paris, um, Project Pineapple P. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about how and why you use knotting solution before you paint your furniture. So we've all been there. We've done a beautiful paint. We've used probably chalk paint, something nice and simple to do our furniture. And then all of a sudden, in a few weeks to a month's time, it starts going really browny yellow with spots. And you're thinking, what have I done? What have I done wrong? And then you realize you've got to redo it because it's actually ruining your furniture. So, knotting solution. It doesn't need to be this make. I always try and use a clear knotting solution. I know you can get darker ones and things like that, but it's definitely just gonna be the easiest to buy a clear one. So if you use an old paintbrush with this, it's definitely gonna be recommended. You don't wanna use any nice um, paint brushes purely because it's a spirit um, and it's really hard to get off. I know you can buy things that you can soak it in and it will come off and things, but I just use an old brush. If it's not being used anymore, which I have loads of, I'll just use it. If it's really bad afterwards, I can just throw it out. But this is gonna be your thing that stops you from having that icky stuff coming out in your paint in a few weeks to um, a few months, which you really don't want, honestly. Before I knew anything about painting and upcycling, I just used to paint with chalk and things. Um, and it was an absolute nightmare because I'd have to go back over it and actually protect the wood before I started painting again. So it took double the time. So it's one thing you really, really don't wanna do is make the mistakes at the beginning. Um, and people don't talk about knotting solution. So I'm gonna to talk to you about it. I'm gonna show you how to put it on and it's gonna keep the wood nice and white or cream or a light color. So it's not coming through and you're not having to redo it in a few months time. So as you can see in the video, the knots are the circular parts in the wood. Um, so let's show you how to apply it. So I've got my old brush, I've got the knotting solution and all I'm gonna do is put it on the knots. Um, sometimes if I think that there's too many knots and things like that, I will literally make sure that I put it all over. It depends how many knots there are and if I feel like it's going to mark it. Nice and thin. Afterwards you're going to sand it down slightly and then I'll reapply it just one more time once it's nice and sanded just to make sure. So once you've put the knotting solution on, you need to wait for it to dry before you can even attempt to paint it and just make sure that it's all filled and no zap or any part of the discolouring is gonna come through on the paint. I would definitely recommend putting a knotting solution down, even if you want to save time and just put chalk paint on, not put any primer or undercoat on um, or do anything like that because it's definitely worth it. Because in a few weeks to a month, a few months time, whenever it's going to get some probably yellowing to brownie little dots um, that are gonna come through the paint and you're gonna have to retreat it, probably redo a lot of the furniture and it's just gonna waste more time for you in the long run. So definitely recommend using knotting solution. Any hardware store, any stores that help with wood, and painting and things like that will have it. Um, but yeah, definitely use it. I know it's not something that we all talk about when we're doing upcycling, or if we do, you might miss it a little bit just because it's just a really quick part of the process. Knotting solution, that is the secret to long lasting furniture in your home without having to redo it in a few months because it shines through. So I hope you found this video useful. Stay on track with me and what I'm gonna be getting up to and other pieces of furniture I'm gonna be upcycling. Then stay tuned to my channel, like, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. If there's anything else you feel you use that works really well, it's really nice for us to just share each other's ideas and what we get up to and see what other different things people are doing in the world. Thank you.